Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial on the channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to make this clean 3D vertex effect in Premiere Pro. So once you put the clip to your timeline, you will need to find where you want the build up to start. So just find a frame where you uh, pull out your shotgun. So I'm gonna select this frame right here. So just select the clip, click on Ctrl K to add a cut. After that, just find where you get the kill. So just find when the shield cracks and again add a cut by clicking Ctrl K. And now you can apply the velocity. So just right click on the clip, middle part of the clip, click on show clip keyframes, time limping and enable speed on the clip. And go to the beginning and add a keyframe for speed. And just wanna lower down the speed to like 30% and then go somewhere right here so the uh, shotgun is in front of the uh, player so just again select the clip and again add a keyframe for speed and then you can increase the speed to around like 300 like 310 and you can play with the speed and you can make the keyframe like this just like this and put the other part of the clip and then also enable time ramping on the other part of the clip go to the beginning keyframe for speed also increase the speed to the same uh, speed that you did for the last uh, part of the clip and after that go like one two three frames to your right keyframe it again and again you can decrease this to like 30 percent or 35 percent so i'm just gonna make it around 35 this should be good and also you can do the same thing just like this okay after that we can apply the presets and before that you can put the overlay so just download the overlay and put it right here and you can cut in somewhere here and you can cut around this point so cut it and delete the other part of that clip and then just wanna go to the beginning keyframe the opacity go five frames to your right keyframe it again change the first keyframe that value to zero go to the end of that clip keyframe it again go five frames back keyframe it and go to the last keyframe and make it zero so we'll get a fade in and fade out effect at the beginning and also at the end of the overlay and then go and change the blend mode of the overlay to uh, color dodge and you will see this and then you can put the presets so download the preset and import it so right click on the presets bin click on import presets and select my preset click on open and go and set up as 3d vertex so something like that and you will see the preset so simply just drag and drop the uh, before nest uh, preset to the bottom part of the clip and you will see this cool effect and just wanna select these two clips right click click on nest click ok and then go ahead and drag and drop the after nest preset to the nested sequence and you will see something like this after that go to this cut right here and go ahead and click on the time up here and type as plus uh, 160 select the clip and cut it and then go ahead and put the impact to the, the to this uh, part of the clip and you will be good to go and also you can put the sound effects and you can put all that fancy stuff and after you done all that stuff go to somewhere right here click i go to the end click o and click on sequence and click on rendu into out and you can play the effects smoothly and and yeah guys that's pretty much it for the video and if you made this find the video be sure to like and subscribe the channel and i will see you guys in the next video and peace